Hello guys, I'm Kamran from Graphics Burns and this is our seventh tutorial on Element 3D course. And in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to create shadows. So current now there aren't any shadows in Element 3D. Yes, it's a misfortune. But in Element V2 we will get shadows. Um, don't disappoint yourself because there are two ways to get some pretty realistic shadows, but those aren't real ones just tweaks so let's go for them first are the fake shadows um, I'm going to tell you about uh, here uh, with an animation so that you can learn easily I've done that I've textured that up and got a background so that you can see it as shadows so there are two shadows two uh, types of shadows that you can create for element one are just uh, simple fake shadows and the second is interactive fake shadows which are used for animations pretty realistic animations so first I'm going to uh, show you how to create fake simple shadows so just go to layer new and solid get a black solid because you are creating black shadows then you can tweak everything up so this is a black shadow now what are you going to do is um, I'm going to tell you create a 3d layer why I'm creating a 3d layer right now because when you uh, use element you use it along with um, 3D camera tracker so that you must need a 3D shadow which can move in the space around. So take it back at the element layer so that it's crossing it. Now take it down as a shadow. Scale it up as much as you want. It doesn't matter how much you are doing it. Now hide it. Now create a mask according uh, to our shadow how will it look like like this we created a mask right now <coughs> excuse me and here we got some shadow right there now I'm going to masks and feather it out as you can do in a simple manner uh, not that much just uh, maybe a lot bit and taking the pixels expansion to a little bit and um, taking it bit towards there and going for the opacity and lessen it up <coughs> so that it looks like some shadows but still the mask shape is not good um, we can use a circular one also but I'm not using it right now maybe just giving it a curve help us out or lessening this up to some extent may help us out a little bit so we get some kind of shadows. I uh, just said some kind of not amazing shadows. Now you are going to see when I move this, oh what? The shadow remained there. Now you have to position the, that uh, dirty ugly shadow right there. That's a bad thing. So what to do right now? These are the simple fake shadows used for some stationary objects. Like uh, at this frame this object is stationary. So it's pretty much uh, just acceptable if lights are done right here and something like that. But what about interactive shadows? Let's do that. So just delete this, select your white solid, um, your element layer, and control D, duplicate this up. And wait, um, then just go select the duplicated layer and go to um, layer, pre compose, move all attributes to the new composition and it will say bad argument or something like that but it's perfectly alright as you can move your object it's perfectly alright <coughs> so now go to your composition here are you now create a layer new solid it must be a white layer must be a white layer so just go for it create a white layer take it at the back select this element layer go here and um, in the textures just reset all the textures it's purely white right now. Now take its color to black, 100% black. No reflections, no specular, because these are shadows. And um, now just create a null object to increase its size, <coughs> as like that. And now you can see it is interactive. But wait, 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 wait. You must do something so that maybe reduce its size a little bit, like this so that it remains in that area and goes nowhere um, 
activate. I must do something for it uh, as we have to position this up. And then, all right, <coughs> we're done with that. So now, what are you going to do is to go to your composition. Here you get a black type of shadow. Now you are going to create it as a 3D layer. And it's at the back, I know it. Now, just position this up the way you want it to be. So this is a way of some interactive 3D shadows. And I'm going to show you how we can do that. I did that um, for video rise of planet of apes remake but there was a problem right there i just did some fake positioning and it all gone stuck screw it up so pretty nicely done here as you can see we are getting some kind of shadows now <coughs> here you may have to position it and now i'm going to position everything up to show you how we can do some shadows so first i have to check out where is the loop and he fall down maybe where the loop ends maybe just there and um, your shadow will also uh, have the same movements as that of your original object so now I'm going to um, I hope you know how to do this because it's so easy you can go for position orientation anchor point and now I'm pretty much going all the way And yeah, it's all right. And here you have to take it up there. And here there is a problem. You must take it right there. And here you may rotate your object a little bit up to there and take it right there. And a little bit of more rotation and um, that's the problem of interactive fake shadows as you have to do a lot bit of um, tweaks to it and there are some problems right there for these so you must go with them if you think those are helping you out and not screwing you up as you can see I'm just doing that right there uh, because it's pretty waste of time of your time because now you know how to do that you can do that so now just a little bit of tweaking I'm going to show you with the shadows and this is the shadow I'm going to go for layer new and solid uh, sorry layer new and add just a layer and uh, in fact color crack uh, sorry blur and sharpen and Gaussian blur and increase the blur blur this up go for your object and go for the opacity and lessen this opacity up so that it looks more like a natural shadow like as you can see right now it's a natural shadow so that's pretty much for it these are the interactive shadows as you can see it's interacting along with our character so take care of yourself and wait for our next tutorials which is about rendering and extra utilities and we will end up our element course there i hope you like our videos if you like please spread the word around the world that we are making some cool stuff and also subscribe to our channel and like our videos if you want some more things thank you for watching us